My dad retired probably around 10 years ago now, close to 10 years. He wasn't a fisherman. He didn't build boats. He didn't play the accordion or the fiddle or thank God he didn't sing. He was a mailman for 30 something years. My mom was a clerk at the Confederation Building for the provincial government. We didn't grow up in Twilling Gate or, or Grand Bank. I grew up in suburban, boring Mount Pearl. The question is, like, where do you find the real Newfoundland? I guess you could find it anywhere you go in Newfoundland. Newfoundland tourism ads take a, a very important piece of Newfoundlandia and highlight it as a hook, I guess, for the tourism industry. And you know, some people point to that and say that's inauthentic, it's not the real Newfoundland experience. I say it is. I say it is very authentic and it definitely is a slice of the Newfoundland experience. But it is just a slice. Regardless of which side of the overpass you come from, there is authenticity in the cul-de-sacs of paradise or any cove you'll find around Notre Dame Bay. born and raised in Newfoundland or you just came here a week ago, whether you're in Newfoundland and can't wait to get out, or you got out and can't wait to get back, whether you're a Canadian citizen, a permanent resident, an international student or a temporary worker, whether you spent your summers out on the water, cod jigging with your granddad, or if you grew up in one of the suburbs that isn't actually adjoined to an herb like Gander or Clarenville, playing street hockey out on the road in front of your house. The real authentic Newfoundland can be found anywhere on the island at any time with anybody. Newfoundland is all around us.